This video shows how to install the GT3 Cup front splitter. I normally don't use the front splitter on the street because uh, it's nice to have the additional ground clearance. And you know, on, on the street, I don't drive fast enough to need the uh, front splitter. I only install the front splitter when I go to the track. So this front splitter clips on by these tabs. You can see these tabs are all along the front splitter and it has the, uh, this hook shaped feature here. That's how it locks in. Here's a, another look at it. And these hooks, they go along this groove on the, uh, all along the uh, front bumper. So we always want to start at one end. And pardon me, I'm trying to do this with one hand while holding the phone. Line it up with this groove. Line it up right here where the uh, bumper ends. And it, it just snaps in. So you, what you want to do is go along here and just get them started. Don't push them all in yet. Because once you push them in, um, you may have one that's not perfectly lined up, then you have to redo it. So I'm gonna put the phone down for a moment. Okay, now they're not all the way pushed in, but they're lined up into the slot. I'm gonna put the phone down again because I need two hands. Okay, so the entire front splitter is lined up to the slots all along the front bumper. So now we can begin to push in the locking tab. You can tell now that the seams are lined up, it is secured. And to remove it, you basically just reverse the process, give it a tug. And it will start coming off all along the front bumper.